All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about solving the paradox of happiness. My name is Nick Redmark, I'm a coach engineer and I take the engineering approach to personal development. In yesterday's video, we talked about how pursuing happiness doesn't work. But at the same time, all coping mechanisms that one might look for don't work either. So what is the solution? According to Csikszentmihalyi, the solution is to achieve control over the contents of consciousness themselves. And how do you do that? To understand this, we have to look at what he describes in chapter number two, which is the anatomy of consciousness. He uses a definition of consciousness that I'm not pretty familiar with, which is basically awareness plus control. It's not just everything that is within your awareness, but consciousness is really the subset of things that appear in your experiences that you have control over. So for example, while when you are working on something, it's the tool that you're using your hand and the result. These things are within your control. So basically it's about the things that you can, that you are paying attention to. And interestingly, uh, consciousness has limits, bandwidth limits. Uh, it can only process seven bits of information at a time and it takes about one eighteenth of a second to do so. So uh, in our consciousness, we can process about 126 bits per second. He states that this can be an, an overstatement or an understatement, but it doesn't really matter. The, the thing that matters is that our consciousness is limited and so we must be careful about what we put into it. Because as he says, the information we allow into consciousness is what determines the content and the quality of life. So the goal is really to be able to direct our attention to the things that really matter and that will improve our quality of life. So on one hand, you have to train the skill to direct your focus and awareness. And second, you need to know what is really worth paying attention that will improve your quality of life. One state of mind we can be in is disorder, also called psychic entropy. It's the state in which when you act, reality tells you that uh, what you're doing is not effective. And the uh, order is the opposite, is when you act, and all signals around you are telling you that you are doing the right thing, that you are being effective. And, and this is also called flow. Flow is really the state of mind in which attention flows. You don't have anything that contradicts the way you're spending your time. It's being described subjectively by people as being so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. A good example would be you are uh, on, on a sailing boat and you are paying attention and adapting to the situation as you go and you're perfectly capable of doing it and it's pushing you a bit beyond your limits. That's a good uh, metaphor, but also a good example of uh, a flow state. These flow states are not necessarily pleasant. What really characterizes them is this deep involvement. If you manage to produce this state of flow in your life, in the long run, these uh, situations add up. And if you look back at your life, what happens is you get the sense that you have been active and participating in your life, which is the closest thing we have to a definition of, of happiness. And so the next question is, how do we achieve flow states? How do they work? And this is what we're going to be talking about in the following videos. So stay tuned, subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications. See you later.